Hakeem with AutoFix Power. Today we are working on a 2014 Nissan Rogue and the customer is complaining that the car does not start. Now the first thing that I like to do when I have a no start condition is find out what I'm missing. If I'm missing fuel, if I'm missing spark. And the easiest way to do that would be to spray some fuel inside the intake manifold. Now you can spray carb cleaner, you can spray brake cleaner, you can even spray starting fluid inside the intake manifold and see if the car starts. If the car does start, then there's a very good possibility that you're missing fuel and that's the reason why your car is not starting. Now the next step would be to find out why you're missing fuel. Fuel pump, um, injectors, clogged fuel system, something along those lines. So let's find out why we're missing fuel and let's go from there. Now the fuel pump on this vehicle is not very difficult to get to. So let's do our testing right there at the fuel pump. Now the fuel pump is located on the passenger side under the rear seat. This vehicle has a split tank system so you'll have a fuel pump combination fuel sender on the passenger side and on the driver's side you'll have just a fuel sender. So make sure you're pulling apart the correct side. Now um, when you're getting access to the fuel pump or fuel sender on this vehicle you're going to have to remove the rear seat which is just a few 14 millimeter bolts and you'll be able to get access to the fuel pump right there. All right, so that's our plug. Let's get some light. That's our plug. The two big wires, I'm 100% sure, are the fuel pump power wires. Let's slide that back some. Those are our power wires. We have white and gray and white and black. Now, if I had to bet, I'm going to say that my white and gray is the power and the white and black is the ground. It don't matter. Let's just check it. Let's see what we got. All right, so let me back hold this. I got my oscilloscope here with the leads. And I'll get you guys focused in on that in a minute. Let me unplug it, be easy with a back over that way. And you'll be able to see what I'm doing. division 20 millisecond scale let's change that to 500 milliseconds because I'm not gonna be able to see this while I'm cranking and 500 milliseconds will allow me to see what's going on when I come back to the scope but you guys will be able to see it so let's give her a crank and see if we got some juice Yep, we got juice. Now normally I would go a step further here and um, hook up an amp clamp just to see what kind of amperage we have on the um, on that circuit, just to see if the pump is actually doing anything. But um, I have my power, I have my ground, and this car has an open recall for the fuel pump. So I'm just gonna put a fuel pump in it. Maybe the sender is bad. If the sender is bad, I'm doing a fuel pump anyway. So I'm going to have the fuel pump. I, I will see that there's no gas in the car. So let's um let's go ahead and do that. Let's pull this fuel pump out. Unplug this fucker. Undo the fuel line. Yep, we got nothing. Should have some fuel squirting out of there. Now there is a special tool to take this ring off here. 
but I like to live dangerously and I hate that damn special tool. So I'm just gonna use a screwdriver and a hammer. If I blow myself up, hey, it'll be a good YouTube video. Change this fuel pump, you will have to undo the other side, the sender on the driver's side, and you'll have to unplug the cable because there's a crossover tool that comes from this um, fuel pump to the sender on the other side. It goes from here to the other side, and you have to disconnect it as well as a plug. There's an electrical connector under there you have to disconnect. So let's go to the other side and get set up. All right, you're gonna need some string. This is actually some thin wire that's um, used for electric dog, dog fences, but I have a whole roll of it and it works perfectly. So we're gonna use that. tighter than usual so we're gonna take our wire before we put it there we are going to put it here all right we're gonna tie our wire to that that's the door hinge well the door stop in between the door so let's do that right, let's go back to where we were give ourselves um maybe four or five feet worth of this wire because what we're gonna do is pull it through to the other side of the car. I'm gonna take this out. Turn the light up a little bit. Without blowing everything out. We're gonna undo this holes here and we're going to tie our wire to that holes it's just a little button on the side right there let me move my hand out the way button right there push and twist that's a crossover pipe it goes to the other side now you're also going to disconnect this plug so unplug that and then you take your wire Wrap it around that. Make sure it doesn't come loose. Okay, so you got your wire attached to that, and the other end of your wire is attached to the um to the door or some place where you can pull it through. So now we're gonna get this out of the way. Try to get gas on the car on the carpet. Should be using a, um, some type of a mat or something around here to absorb the gas. And as you can see, we do have gas in here. We have about a half a tank of gas, so there's nothing wrong with our fuel sender. So let's put this back into the gas tank. And I want you to watch as I go on the other side and pull it through. <laughs> Basically, this sits in here like that, okay? The front of the car is that way. That's the front of the car. You pull this up, and this right here is the crossover tool. You're gonna pull this out first. 
So you're gonna pull that through because you can't take the fuel pump out without that being pulled through. And you'll see my string is attached to the other end of that, see? That's my string. And the reason I put that there is so that when I put my new fuel pump in, I can just pull it right through. Now we're gonna take our fuel pump up out. It can be messy when you have a lot of gas. That's my float right there. Got a handful of gasoline. Okay, so now I'm gonna pull it out of the car. All right, so this is our old fuel pump. This is the way it sits in the vehicle. That's the front of the vehicle. This goes toward the front, that goes toward the back, and this line goes this way. Inside the car. Wait, yeah, the front of the vehicle, inside the fuel pump, inside the tank. This crossover line right here goes that way, to the other side, to the driver's side. Right now we're on the passenger side and up inside the tank and underneath. That's my fuel pump, there's the part number, maybe it's upside down, I don't know. I'll fix it, I'll edit it later. Let's just flip it around, because just in case it is upside down, I don't know. All right, that's the part number, new fuel pump. Let's open it up. Pay attention to the new fuel pump and the location of the cable. You see where, not the cable, but the crossover pipe. This thing here, that goes to the other side of the car. This is in the wrong position. It should be here. On that side of that spring. So make sure that that's in the right position. Front of the car, back of the car. Like that, that way, okay? All right, so let's get set up, put this thing back in. Oh, let's attach this first. The whole point of this is so that we can attach this together. fuel pump in first before we pull our crossover tool through. Take our float down in there and walk it down the side like so. Spin it around. And now we're going to pull our um, crossover pipe through.
this is facing that way and that's facing that way. So we're good to go. Now we can hook up our cinder on the other side. starts up before we do anything else. Alright, so let's see if it'll start. I don't know if I got you guys in focus or not. Hey, she's running. Look at that. All right, so now we can finish putting the car back together. We can put the car seats in and, well, the rear seats. And that's it. We are done here. 2014 Nissan Rogue. Fuel pump, no start condition. Thanks for watching. Auto Fix Power. Oh!